Hey, Aya. Aya is not very happy. I put a husband t-shirt. Give me this t-shirt because he don't like such color. Um, because uh, she has side effects from spaying, which affect about 70% of female dogs. So she has incontinuous. So she is dripping, sometimes it's puddles, of a urine, and she, she cannot control it. Most of the time veterinarians will not tell you that it's a such a side effects. They will be just be happy to give you some hormonal treatment after that. The way to avoid it is to do partial spay of the dog. So you will keep one of the partial organs so she can still receive her hormones and then it can help with removing this problem of urine leakage because it's really not nice. All her tail is yellow and wet. It's not smell good. And especially in the winter, it's getting all frozen and she's not very happy about it. And I don't want to give her hormonal treatment. Every hormonal treatment also have a side effect. Here is Nadia. Also decided to be outside. I put my D-Rag here. And Safar is preferring to lay here because he feels too hot. He feels too hot laying in a room with a fireplace. Aya is not happy. <laughs> she don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? And here is Safar lane. Yes, and he's shading with all his hair. Safarik. So it's too hot for him to be in a room with a fireplace. Some uneducated breeders will tell you that you cannot have this breed in the house, which is absolutely no logic. There is no breed of dog <laughs> exists which should be living outside. Probably squirrel should live outside, but it's not a breed of dog. Uh, any breed of dog can live indoors. Some dogs, personal choices of any dog, just like to be more outside. Our dogs like to be with us, so they can be inside, they can be outside. But if breeder tell you that Central Asian Shepherd need to live outside, because if you keep them inside, they will have dysplasia, allergies, or they will get broken, this definitely, this breeder is just don't know what they tell. Or they will be using it against you, so let's say when your dog gets sick, and you will ask breeder, why it's happening, whatever. Bridget will tell, did you ever let your dog indoors? And you say, oh yeah, my dog is, is indoors sometimes. Okay, that's why this breed cannot be indoors. That's why this dog have dysplasia now. So yeah, use the common sense. Any dog can be indoors. Having a shiny, slippery floors. This is not very slippery floors, but if you have a shiny, slippery floors, it's not good for any puppy because puppies are growing and they're heavy breed or even a small puppy and they can uh, they can start to have a problems with their joints because they don't have a traction this is definitely true for any dog who is over 20 pounds but yeah central asian shepherd definitely enjoy to be in indoors all our dogs like to be indoors